folks, Steven Stewart here. I'm going to do uh, another continuation of this little uh, live write thing that I've been doing. So we're going to take this story that we've written and we're going to put it on Kindle Vela. If you don't know what Kindle Vela is, you are probably in the majority of human beings on Earth. <laughs> it is a serial fiction platform owned by Amazon. I have some books on it. Um, no one reads those books on Kindle Vela, but sometimes Amazon gives me money for having books on Kindle Vela. So uh, I'm gonna do that because most of the people who are um, patrons of mine uh, already have access to this through either Substack or Patreon or Ko-Fi or whatever. So um, yeah, if you are one of those people, you can already read this. I'll make the ebook available just as like a complete ebook for everyone as well. And then uh, after we do that, we will set up the formatting for a little mini paperback and for an ebook, and we'll set all that up. Uh, we'll let it be on Kindle Vela for a while, and then we'll, you know, we'll turn it into a real book. We'll publish it as a real book later on, but I'll show you all those steps because I think they're important for lots of people who are wanting to get into this business, so to speak, right? So we'll, we'll get to all that. Uh, but that's the main thing is we're going to uh, put this on Kindle Vela and explore it in that way. So, uh, yeah, let's hang out and let's do that. And let me see if I can find all the documents and everything that we uh, that we need. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is more of my music. If you want to look at the video, it's right here. I'm going to link it. There's the video. We'll hop in and do this. Okay. So I think I came up with a title. It was Sorcerer's Blood. There's a couple things I want to do to finish editing this that may not be like really obvious. So I'll go over those. Um, we're going to use Grammarly. I'll show you how to actually use Grammarly for fiction. I don't usually recommend it for fiction uh, unless you're doing what I'm going to show you. Uh, and that's because its stylistic suggestions are frankly really, really bad for just anyone who is not, anyone who's already an English speaker and anyone trying to write fiction. There's a style, there's stylistic malleability to fiction writing that uh, Grammarly just doesn't, is not gonna pick up on. And your AI editors, they may understand that stuff, they may not, right? Uh, but the main thing is if you're a human being performing, trying to execute your own style, Grammarly is, is not going to understand what you're doing. And it's gonna think things are wrong when they're actually not wrong. People do this too. I've had people say like, hey, here's a typo. And I'm like, that's actually not a typo. Um, that's a proper use of the words. I think you meant this word. Nope, I meant the word I wrote. You just maybe don't, haven't read enough or maybe English isn't your first language to realize like that is the way that you actually use that word. And so I'm, I'm thinking of an example. Someone's like, I think you meant to say had come instead of was come. And I said, no, was come is a correct, is correct English. And I meant to use that. But because it's maybe not popularly used after 1980, most people might think that's a mistake, but it's not, right? Um, it's a weird thing that happens, I think, sometimes with indie fiction too, where people think things are, are, are like hyper sensitive about typos when like major stuff ships with typos anyway. And um, sometimes they think things aren't, they think things are mistakes that aren't mistakes. Sometimes typos are obvious, like if you put and, and, yeah, so it's a typographical error, you know. Yeah, Grammarly's not really good. I'll show you how to use it <clears throat> correctly. So we'll hop into this. One of the things I'm gonna do here, let me let me show the document. So one of the things I'm gonna do here, uh, what is Vela? If, you're, if you don't know what Vela is, guess what? You're like everybody else. No one really uses it. It was a pet project of somebody in Amazon that got promoted right when it launched. So it's kind of DOA. They haven't really done much with it. Uh, think of it's like Wattpad, but with some opportunity to actually make money. <laughs> but, but people don't really use it. The only people who made money were uh, writers who already had like a huge newsletter following and could get people to buy their book on that platform, even though the people buying the book didn't want to use that platform. I tried it out with a couple books to see if there was any discoverability in there, and there's not. There's just not. I think I've... 
I've only gotten bonuses from Amazon. I've never really got, I think I've gotten like $5 in royalties off of Vela, which is probably better than 99% of people, let's be honest. 99% of people are probably getting a big fat zero. All right. Yes, I was gonna maybe change the name of our Murdrag character to Mogthir because I think it sounds cooler. Murdrag just sounds too close to Murdral and because Murdral the, like the character in here is kind of like I'm calling him a half man and Murdral I'll call the half man in Wheel of Time I really just don't want it it's too close so I'm going to change it let me show you how to change it really quick you go to replace we're going to find what Murdrag and we're going to replace with what with uh, Mog Theer which I like or Mog Tear Mog Theer so um, we can just hit replace all and 35 replacements boom then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find, in case I misspelled it, any mer drag, zero results. We're going to try mer. Mer. See, we're going to we're going to replace that with mog. See. All right, no mer. What about drag? There we go. See, mog there. All right. Any more drag? Any DRH? Any uh, RYH? RH? Yeah, okay. All right, so I think that's good. So I changed the name. I think Hardwick had suggested Murdrag, and it's not a bad name, but it's too close to Murdral, which is like a Wheel of Time thing. And because this character is kind of like, you know, there's some. I don't know, there's some beings that are kind of like this in Wheel of Time. I don't want it to be so close that it's like, this guy's just ripping off a Wheel of Time idea. Um, it's the idea of like a zombie, right? Mogthir's death. All right, okay. And I have all the notes on the other side here. All right, so let's let me show you how to use Grammarly properly. Okay, so we're going to go over here to open Grammarly. Maybe you can't see it on the screen. Let me slide it. There we go. We got our navigation pane here. All right, so we're going to go to open Grammarly. So Grammarly will have this big kind of side doodad here, and um, we're going to go up to the top. And one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to make a pass, and what we're going to uh, do here is just correctness. Maybe you can't see this. Hold on. Let me move me down here. Maybe you can see it a little better. There we go. So I'm going to click just correctness. So this will find little things, right? Let's see what this is. We're going to click on it. Clarity, garbage. We're going to go only correctness. Inconsistent spacing, one space. We want one space, but there's only one space here, so we're ignoring that. Only one space here. Oh, we're just going to get rid of any double spacing for me. Okay, that's nice, right? The images to the sides were powerful, sickening, alluring, and I can feel... So I might put an ellipsis here. It's just drawing to my attention something that's like uh, alluring, and I could feel... Right, I want this, so we're going to garbage that. Again, it wouldn't pick up that this is like a stylistic choice. The images to the sides were powerful, sickening, alluring, and I could feel my will to resist the power, right? I don't want to say and alluring, even though that might be, quote, technically correct. It's stylistically bad, so I'm skipping it. All right, um, here we go. Of their own accord. I'm going to pull this out to the side so we can see this a little bit. Of their own accord, one of the doors opened. All right, the comma. Okay, that's a good comma. Beneath his hood, that's a good comma. Sepulchre. It wants it to spell it this way. Nope. I like the R-E spelling. I can spell words however I want. Right. Um, I could make out a circular space with a single sickly green light at its center before the door closed. Before I'm, okay, that's correct. Remove that comment. Again, silently, the door opened. Yes. My guide was gone. And indeed, I cannot see, so we're adding some comments, cannot see who would open the door. If they existed and were not a phantom, 
See, this is not correct. This is cool. This went on straight to like some Skyrim music, which is nice. Uh, let's do some more of my music. That one is called The Cold Shore. Let's do another one. I welcome thee. It's a good one. We got a nice ad on my other channel, even though I'm, my channel's not monetized. YouTube's got to make money too. You know what I'm saying? All right, where were we? Yeah. Grammarly is okay if you're using it the way I'm showing. And if you're doing nonfiction and you want to write a very neutral email and maybe English is your second language, it's a good tool. You know, there's lots of little stylistic things that are different in written English versus spoken English. And it's that way with almost any language I can think of. The way people spoke Latin and the way people wrote Latin was likely really different. I stepped forward and my eyes adjusted. That's an okay comma. We'll put that in. <laughs> Enough to live well for a man like you. I like the comma, so I'm going to put a trash. Uh, on the one hand, the rod of the man who held the box. Yeah, period. On the other, the thing inside. Or we can do a semicolon. I like semicolons. You know, yes, of course you do. I don't want a comma there because of the way he speaks it. Of course you do. Not of course you do. Of course you do. So the thing about... Commas and dialogues is they usually mean a pause. So you can get to use commas in weird ways in dialogue, and you can add commas where you maybe wouldn't if you were writing a formal sentence, and you can take commas away where you maybe would need one for a clause in a formal sentence. Okay, so that's a that's a dialogue thing. You are allowed to do creative commas for sure in dialogue because you're trying to represent the way a person speaks. I have many methods at my disposal, many techniques, both ancient and covert. Now, I might want a comma here. Many techniques, both ancient and covert. I think I do want a comma there. By the will of Diergesh and the rights that she has given me. All right, see this, this found a little mistake. Now, we want to be clear here. I'm going to replace the she with the heart. Now, this, no, actually, I may need to make this a little clearer. Yes. How does she live? By the will of Diergesh and the rights given unto me. I want to disguise Diergesh's uh, gender in this one. Uh, in Al Shafal, the Diergesh is female, but in other in other works in the series, maybe not. Diergesh as a devilish character is also like bisexual in some ways, right? How about cryptic instead of covert? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I don't know what you mean by by. Uh, cryptic and covert. Sorry. Both ancient and covert. No, I don't want cryptic because cryptic in, in, indicates a crypt, like grave like. Dead. Right? In a crypt. Contained. Sealed. Covert. Secret. I see what you mean now. Yeah, I like covert better. She lives and will live if you do not fail, but the ritual will only hold for a fortnight. Yeah, so we. This is fine. So we can just. Uh, I will trade this heart to you for the one which I desire, and you shall fetch. I don't want a comma there. I want it to run straight through. Forth a sheath knife with an ebon handle, glittering with... Now I like the comma there, because I don't want an and. Ebon, or an ebon handle that glittered with copper details. That would be more correct. But I don't like the way it sounds, so I'm skipping it. Within it was a will, a thrumming energy. Yes, I want a thrumming energy. 
Again, they'd be like, thrumming isn't singular. It's like, you are a robot. It's cool that you think that. I'm not writing an academic paper here. And it was like the creaking of old rafters in a storm, reverberating under the ancient and sickly dome. No, I like the comma there. Again, sometimes I like commas where they're not technically correct. But they're good. They, pro pro they provide like a little pause. Strandum is where you should turn your attentions and let the bloodthirst of your instrument guide you. Again, attentions is correct. I kind of like this to go straight through, no comma. Uh, for the woman that watches him is a witch of... We're well, not create. We want great cunning. See, I found a mistake. So it's going to find some mistakes. I rose in turn trying not to run. There we go. Very good. So we're, we're finding a couple mistakes here. So it's totally finding typos and stuff like that. Um, it's finding typos. Uh, one gave a plaintive moo, but they looked disinclined to respond to the whip and continued turning about as if hoping, yeah, I would get rid of the, let that run straight through while Tauruses. So Tauruses, check this out. Um, it thinks this is referring to like you're a Taurus. Like that's your sign, but a Taurus is a is a is the wild species of cattle that lived in Europe in ancient times. So lowercase is correct in this case. So if you know what you're doing, don't let Grammarly fool you and make you think you're doing anything wrong. All right, I'll cut out his heart. A procedure I had done before, though this is a good comma, though not with such evil accoutrements and trick. Now uh, accoutrement. Accouter, accoutrements. I want the non-American variant. I've never heard it spelled accoutrements. You guys ever seen it spelled accoutrements? I've never heard it spelled accoutrements. Trash. For the still living. That's a good hyphen. Uh, I was enslaved by Tarilla both by the bond she held on me as a thrall and by the desires of my own heart. I like the coma. Even uh, even now, this is a correct comma, all right? Her eyes were blue, rare like sapphires, but deep like the winter ocean. Actually, um, I like this comma between butts. Like when I grew up, you always put a comma between a, a phrase and butt. And so when I'm saying it aloud, like sapphires, but deep like the winter ocean, there's like a pause there, sapphires, but deep. Sapphires, but deep, it goes too, too smoothly. So I'm trashing that. Most often, comma, I saw them reflected. So that's probably right. My great sadness was that I knew in full detail that radiance. And was thus a man without a will for such beauty once experienced could compel obedience to any request um i'm gonna get rid of the comma so it flows a little there's not so many um for such beauty once experienced that's correct that's right. it has the right flow strandum loomed and in my mind loomed the unpleasantness silently comma i cursed the king I knew my curses were impotent, but I spoke them into the void anyway and thanked Grimm that the old man didn't seem to care to talk to me. So they had built anew, that's correct. So that's a good typo fix. Perhaps that was why I had never settled there. Settled there and opted for the older and though more austere, also more refined, Solberg as my final place of attach attachment. Might want a comma there. This is kind of an interesting complex sentence. I had never settled there and opted for the older and though more austere, also more refined. Solberg is my final place of attachment. This time, 
when I saw the hovels in Hamlets. That's correct. All right. So it doesn't know what to do. That is what I usually heard from the others, and Tarilla especially, when she would cheerfully debrief me on whatever dirty task I had dared for her that week. See, this is going to tell you to reverse especially in Tarilla. No. No, I like Tarilla especially. You can do this in English. You can reverse word order. Kind of like Latin. If you're doing the stems and stuff correctly on Latin, you can have the words be in pretty much whatever order, uh, which is really cool. It's great for writing poetry. Latin's a wonderful poetic language. Uh, also good for like philosophy. Like in the Middle Ages, everything was written in Latin because you could be hyper clear with your, your grammar. Your grammar made everything really clear. Near the first gatehouse, which sat on a rocky slope facing southwest, I paused and caught the arm of, uh, arm of a man pushing cabbages in a wheelbarrow. He seemed to freeze at my touch and looked around before turning his eyes to me askance. Um, so, and then. So sometimes it thinks you need to say and then. You don't. I released him and flicked my fingers, letting go the careful weaving of illusion about us. You don't need of. Go about your business and don't worry about foreigners. Uh, the spell would fade like a dream. See, I like the comma there, but the spell would fade like a dream. I think it's better just no comma. I like that suggestion. All right. All right. A boy and a woman is what the man thought. Since the thought is one, but this is this probably could be a little bit better as R. A boy and a woman are what the man thought. But it's actually better. A boy and a woman is what the man thought. He thought, the, the thought is singular, so it is is actually correct. Because this reverses sentence order, which is something that we can do. My mind immediately went to Melchior, the old king of Solborg. When Mogthir, see this works, Melchior and Mogthir had murdered his brother. He had also ruthlessly terminated all the threads of his issue, but perhaps there were more. Now, we actually want all of these hads in here because they're, we're indicating they're a little further in the past when he had murdered his brother and he had also ruthlessly terminated all the threads. So we're going to dismiss that. Some might have fled who he would rather not reveal lest it stir up some idea of rebellion, lest they stir up. made sense the options seemed limited either he would be in the company of the king as a hostage or guest or else sequestered i like this comma here because it's clear no hovel for a royal son even a bastard i decided to make for the capital hill and see where the dagger led me yeah When you wear nothing special, you become like the stones or like a beggar, which is to a rich man practically the same thing. I like the comma. I'm keeping it. The problem with nice areas is that I'm not a nice person. I'm going to use my friendly M dash here, not in deed nor in appearance, which makes my patronage by Tarilla the more acutely strange. Where I would be a rock in the hamlets, I was a dirt smudge in clean streets. Something to be wiped away. The semicolon's actually correct. Actually, it'd be a colon is more correct. But I had more than mundane methods, as I mentioned. Perhaps you'd picked up on it, but my skills are not limited to the blade, or to infiltration, or the acrobatics that might entail. comma there because these these are two separate clauses i have an affinity for magic i have an affinity for magic of a certain variety familiar to me and men like me i wear a brown cloak and i walk quietly but when i wish i can wear a cloak of illusion and walk out of the bounds of this world it can be taxing but i had little choice 
the dagger thrummed against my breast, begging me to go thither, to the well. Yes, I like this comma. I found it in the northern corner of a cobbled street. It faced the ruins of an old battlement. And beyond that, and beyond that, the outer wall of the castle. Yeah, let's get rid of that comma. But it was a comely and even modern house. Okay. There we go. Save for that I knew. So save for that, that works. Because that's kind of how someone talks. This is written in first person. That's a correct one. And I wanted now to obey it swiftly. I knew that I also must escape the city as well as perform my task. Otherwise, I... yes, okay. Um, it loomed. Uh, it looked out on a wide section of the moat that encircled the castle. That's a good one. And I relaxed then. Work to pull onto a simple craft an ugly catfish. We actually don't need this comma. All right, we've gotten through a bunch of these. Let's let's see if we can go a little more quickly. I think you guys are getting the idea. I came to. Though twilight clung to the western sky and the city to the south. That's a good comma. Swarms of gnats. It would not be long before the darkness was total and the easy rest of the damned settled upon the home's occupants. Yeah, I like that. In the distance, I could hear the faint howl of some dog and another answering it. Yes. Uh, just inside the eaves of the house, bathed in shadow. Oh, yes. What was I going to do here? As I, okay, so I'm going to clear this. I'm going to clear this. Uh, I, had him, I had him kill him because I think it's important. Um, delete threat. Okay, there we go. I drew my favorite rondel. It was not the dagger Mogther had given to me, for that one would bring only one person to this stone of death. The guard sat again and with annoyance. There we go. If you str if you strike a man in the right way, all right. The man's armor was thicker than I anticipated, and resisted the stiff blade. With my knee, comma, I slammed the butt of the dagger, and it punched. Since this is a combining two sentences, that's correct. Let's keep going here. Here we go. All right. Whatever had held the pins was some spell, though it was subtle enough I could not feel it with my extra senses. But I don't, I don't need that, that. As I stepped up the stairs, it began verily to sing with pleasure, and I could even feel, though it may have been some trick of the moment, a heartbeat. Was it a living thing? Yes, I pondered this even. Yes, okay. It was a sparse but large room. Yeah, better to get rid of the comma. Bloodletting. These thoughts would have held any man back from the despicable bloodletting, made him hesitate on the precipice of eternal dark of murder. Nope, this is correct. I don't want a bunch of ants. It did not encourage or beg, but demanded to, to be wedded. I like those commas. At that moment, this is a correct comma. The boy's eyes opened and he regarded me almost calmly. There's not a whole lot of rules for commas, by the way. If anybody's paying attention here, <laughs> there's not a lot of comma rules. Uh, the contest between wills, interrupted at that last moment, failed. No, I liked that comma. Undo. Interrupted at that last moment, failed. The figure struck me in the head with a quarterstaff. It held in its right hand, and I fell back. That's correct. The blow barely registered, and within a moment, I was back on my feet before I could attack again. The dagger dropped from my hands, and with it, 
with all my thoughts. Okay. Um, this is correct. The figure in the doorway stepped toward the light of the window, and I beheld that it was a strange woman whose slender face held ancient knowledge, and yet she was bent only by the wound I had given her. This is kind of a run-on sentence, but I like it. Bright eyes reflected the silver of the night sky. I would have seen neither figure if my head did not happen to land on the floor at the angle it did. So figure if my head had not happened. This is an interesting question. Should we do had happened or did not happen? Had not happened or did not happen? I think it actually is had happened. Had not happened. That sounds better. He had a strange expression on his face. I like the comma. Strong, very strong and very costly. Well, I don't think you need ask that again. The other half of me was angry at the insinuation, then furious because, as the woman suggested, I could not recall where I was born. You don't remember being born, of course. I actually don't want that comma. <laughs> because the way people talk, there's not a pause. You can't remember being born, of course. Here we go. She nodded and her posture collapsed. Her light hair fell around her face and Moonlin caught her. Yeah, there should be maybe a coma. You were made by Mog there or else purchased by him and put to work, but inside you survives. Yeah, I won't. Nope. Inside you survives. Some memory. You are yourself, though you cannot remember it. That's a good comma. But maybe not. If not, would you have us slay you so you could at least... <clears throat> Pondered this. But Mogdir has her. So we're just going to add it to the dictionary. For one I love. So this is... Boop, trash. But it does find a lot of mistakes. Did not happen. Could refer to as a future event. Yeah, it did not happen. Yeah, but I think it works better because it's like if my head had not hit there because we're referring to an alternate event. It could have been something different, I guess. Um, as hostage, that works. That's actually correct. actually want this comma here. He must have life before money matters to him. Trash. Thraldom. I believe so, but we must first discern the nature of this thraldom, or attempted thraldom. No, I want to pause. He's like a king, though he was still in the flesh of youth. That will, that will undo a great evil in the world and make some penance for the murder you committed in coming here. Does he respect the gods or even know who they are? Right. Trash. I will kill Mogthor. Again, I like the commas because they create a certain cadence with that blood from the wound I gave her. She drew something. No, this comma is correct. But that blood from the wound I gave her, she drew something. So that's a correct comma. Hestia. 
I perched on the back of a mare between Ruland and Hestia. Yeah, remove that comma. I felt dim, and the world seemed dim as well, like I was a ghost. Nope, I like that comma. Now left to the Keeper of the Dead. All right. We left Fiskerhold dressed as humble travelers, a woman with her child, and some packages on another beast. People in this town who know our faces, if not our names. We traveled on. Again, I'm just going to leave traveled with two L's. <laughs> At times, I thought you might fall asleep. You can also switch the dictionary to like British. I would say tasteless. That's a good comma. This time, they did not offer me any, but ate quietly together. That's actually, I should have a comma there, but this is bad. Which had, by the looks of it, I wondered if she really was dying versus were dying. Were is actually incorrect. And you don't remember much, if anything. He too. He too slept soundly and softly, yes. In their own life. In that mist, I saw the twisting shapes of men wandering by. Yeah. There were a few women, too. There were a few women there, too, carrying in their arms bundles of nothingness in the imitation of babies. Sometimes I construct sentences in a, in a different way than would be, quote, correct. But it's a stylistic choice, and they're actually correct because other people have constructed those sentences in the past. You know, if Herman Melville writes a sentence that way, you can write a sentence that way. Great for me as a non-native speaker to see you use Grammarly. I see now it's not used as a master, but a servant. Yeah. It'll, it'll find things that you should probably pay attention to. And you want to be intentional about it. Perhaps just go scare the horses and we will follow you in, eh? Like, this is a good comma. The gates were formidable, but not closed tightly because of the in and out of movement of people and goods that characterize. See, I like this comma here. It often thinks that you shouldn't have a comma before but, but it really depends how you use it. Because this but is a whole different sentence, basically. The gates were formidable, but they were not closed tightly. You would have a correct... So I just skipped that they were not. I skipped that all that verbiage because it's just extra words to me. <laughs> the second stroke hit the back of his skull and he crumpled silently to the floor. That's correct. That's a good comma. Let's check out this one. Hestia fell and Rulin caught her. That's a good one. I turned to the hill of old stone houses with iron gates, tiny fortresses in a city of hostile neighbors. Again, this is like a way that you would write poetry almost, so I'm just running with it. Where was Tarilla? I had memories of her chamber, her halls, but not how I had gotten there. Again, because we're kind of, it's kind of a speaking cadence, we, we can use commas in a non-traditional way. More in the lost later. Uh, I could not say if that was because of my nature or that she possessed a body. Okay, this is a typo. Uh, the black citadel at the top of the hill that stood backed to a cliff. It fell some, no, backed, like it's backed against a cliff or it stood on the edge of a cliff. Let's do on the edge. whose back was on a cliff. 
whose back was to a cliff that fell some 150 feet. That's actually clearer. That's a, it's just a better sentence. At the bottom comma, I could see the remains of various forgotten defense works, such as charred spikes and broken stone walls. Now, release me, Xander. All right. The betrayer. The betrayer will not have felt me unwind his tribes. No, Will is actually correct. In this case. I have never needed a disguise, I said, in tying my band braces. So often it doesn't... I notice Grammarly doesn't understand these two clauses whenever I have and. It's okay. I will, this is a stylistic thing I do. Something said, comma, and he did this. And tightened my band braces. Right? I do that a lot, stylistically. I will walk close to you for now. Uh, I like it without the comma. Already, comma, this disease has found me in my hiding place. They were not men, but something else of gray... They were not men, but something else of gray skin and sallow, white eyes. I hit the first one with my club and was inwardly surprised to see his helm. I think I like it no comma there. He did not buckle, but swung a strange curved sword at Ruland. The boy dodged back well in time. All right. Uh, and with a swift stab, comma, it ended the unholy image. With my sword, I chopped at its shoulder, crushing the bones in a sickening crunch. Then withdrew, so this is a typo, so it's finding some typos. I said with quavering voice. Let's do a quavering. I half remembered. See, I half remembered them is a, is a, is a verb, so we actually don't want the dash. I half remembered old tales of lost beings. Not, they are half remembered old tales. If they were half-remembered old tales, it would be a dash, half-remembered. But because I am half-remembering them, it's two, two words, not a dash. No, I like that comma. Why did I get rid of that? Not correct. Not correct. As I did. So this is, this is not grammatically correct. It's a sentence fragment, but it's there for stylistic purposes. Let us hope you shall not need that, because even my blade does little to them. It's near the larder and the kitchens, if you can find those, so that's better. All right, we're getting to the end here. But because of the black filth covering them, I could not tell if they were man or the remains of beasts slaughtered and thrown away. Man is actually correct. That's correct. I don't know. The great doors were flung open and out stepped a horde of... I like the comma here. No, I don't. The great doors were flung open and out stepped a horde of large, beastly men of uncertain race. I would have guessed Dreisen or Orcs, but these were more mannish. With long black beards and yellow eyes. Okay. Mog say so. All right, yeah, these are all because they're talking in a funny. Uh, club. With my club, I crushed his sternum. I slammed my sword into his neck and he collapsed. Instead of a Instead of blood, a squirt of spurt of liquid, nearly black and already congealed, rushed out and spilled on the ground, where it quivered as if alive. Ew. <laughs> Just then, comma, one of the riders returned and shouted for the others in his perverse language. I did not wait to see what they would try in order to move the iron pole. 
Uh, we were now inside the keep. We walked forward into the noisome darkness, yes. Once we entered the gallery of night, nope, no, no, no. Once we entered the gallery of night, our eyes adjusted, and we saw that it was lit by strange lanterns of sinuous design. We four stood in an immense door of ironwood shod by strips of copper and steel. There was no pull ring. This is... They vibrated but did not open. I like no comma there. Um, nor could I remember the other, the other's men worship. Uh, let's get rid of, besides verbus, I realized. And... and upon seeing their visages we never want to another was a sculpture of the coital act but in revolting forms with many figures a serpent of golden hue and a woman of fair visage put his bloody hand to the door and uh, and screamed. That's actually, yes. I moved to silence him because it's the same subject. But in a moment, the cry stopped. The door silently swung shut and we heard a loud latching sound like a portcullis slamming into stone. Instead of silently, I'm going to say smoothly. There we go. Out of the uncertain shadows. At the edge, that's correct. Let's fix that. Period. You must search for this exit. I am too. Okay, I like that one. It was not a question nor a statement. The blade nearly cut me. And I slid to the side just in time. Changing subjects means you had a comma. He knew the meaning of that word and stabbed at me. It was unpredictable, but slow. I kicked at him, and he went sprawling. Two more, blinder than him, ran toward me, not lumbering like zombies, but like men possessed of fell spirits. He held up a spear and was walking toward what I suspected was ruined. I ran him through the chest. The mail gave way easily and his flesh was soft as rotten fruit. I found the way out, came the shrill voice of Ruland. I can say the voice of Ruland versus Ruland's shrill voice. Do you know what I mean? Happy Easter, guys. Yeah. Oh, it's in an hour here. You must be in Europe. Happy Easter. Get to have some caffeine tomorrow if I want it. I've been very tired for 40 days. <laughs> it was of a woman. No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wanted. It was of a woman, but of uncouth pose. Sometimes we don't want. Yeah, that's. But of uncouth pose revealing the details of her sex. This is like an older way of saying that like it. It's basically pornographic, right? Um, his sleeve was soaked red already from just the small prick. That's better. We stepped in, me in the lead. I held my sword in a forward guard, stooped and ready. I was vaguely aware of damage to my body, but it was distant. And only my sense... That's a good comma. The way opened to another hallway and a few large doors, one of which stood ajar. Inside was what would have been a bedchamber to a sane man. Is bedchamber two words? Bedchamber? I guess. To a sane man, but was to mog there a place of foul inversions of rest. He was there, the withered lord. He looked less alive than ever, but also less wizened. Um, 
not with surprise or venom, but with amusement. Also, this was a, I like the comma there. And then this one, we're gonna get rid of all those. Then bring me the boy. All right, that's, that's okay. Corpse man, with all my strength. Charla moved toward Ruland. From a belt within her flowing crimson robes. Clothes. Fire that singed my clothes. And stepped up in a weak stance. So, yeah. Because I'm not... Because I'm skipping listing a subject, but the subject actually changes. The comma's correct. I do that. I will leave out sometimes the word of the subject, and that's... Actually not incorrect. Lots of writers do that. I felt the point enter and the stiff edges push my ribs apart. Um, the edges push my ribs apart. No, nope, that's correct. I felt the blade slide through me, cutting the air from my lungs. <coughs> and then stop against some other bone. Letting my weight, however little it was as a mere fall upon her frame so white and pure like a porcelain figure or perhaps a tiny marvel of some goddess Mogthir approached my sword in his hands Rulin the boy the child that should have been playing with his friends the child who should have been yeah who why not we'll do who looking down at Trilla I could see that uh, with her lips she was attempting to cast some spell in spite instead of in spit of myself in spit of myself all right drew blood and it flowed out like wine from all the wounds and with one stroke no stoke stroke sever the head that's correct in that darkness with one stroke his face looked placid and calm but no longer that of a child I was forced to look upon the dead body of the woman I loved, or thought I loved, or was told to love. I'm going to put like an ellipse here because I just, or was told to love. I didn't know if it was all true, and I still do not. But even though she was cavorting with the source of all my ills, I felt for her. That feeling I had, whatever they might have really, the feelings I had, whatever they might have really been, were as real as any feelings. Do emotions. Cataloged. I like the U. It just I'm too used to reading British. I saw. I saw in the dim light. This actually should have a I saw in the dim gray light from the windows high above the figures of the lost ones. Because if you were gonna do this in a more traditional way, you'd say, in the dim gray light from the windows high above, I saw the figures of the lost ones. But I like to interrupt the flow sometimes. It's just how I like to write. The strange men or half orcs were there. Then all I saw were the eyes of white looking upon me, almost blinking in the flickering flames. I lay until I saw that it was day and blue sky with white drifting clouds. We don't need a blue sky there. Hestia gave me water. Such pleasure and such pain were now new and living things. Even uh, even in Mogther's death, it is too violent a spiritual place for me. Do not ask, because I cannot tell. Mm -hmm. 
looking up at the temple and wondering I was like a babe newborn but without body and but with the body and mind of a man it would have avoided it if I could Hesty said but he is strong and knowing my thoughts she said all right I had never yet heard watching the clouds drift by and listening to the wind and the faint echoes of birdsong I closed my eyes as a man all right So correctness was all we wanted to look at. Ah, oh, it didn't clear all these. Shoot. Okay. So anyway, we can go back to Grammarly. We're going to skip all the style issues. Several black figures draped in chains and mail. Let's get rid of that comma. He did not buckle. Okay. Her breast moved so slightly, I wondered if she was really dying. Yeah, that eye. That's a good that. Very strong, very costly. They said they had built a new. Yes, of course you do. All right, that's it. Okay, we'll save that. Now let's put it on, um, we're gonna put it on Vela real quick. So let me show you how to do this. Let me find it. Um, basically what you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna find your, um, basically your KDP dashboard. There's kind of what mine looks like right here. Let me get it kind of pulled up here. Okay. And um, you're just going to go visit Kindle Bela. And what we're going to do is we're going to start a story. So we're going to call the story Sorceress Blood, I think, is the name of it. Let's check. We're going to put the whole thing up and schedule it to like update, basically. Sorcerer's Blood. Okay, yes. Sorcerer's Blood. Um, story completion. All right. Author name, David B. Stewart. Description. All right, let's write a little blurb. I'm going to write a blurb in a separate document. Forgot, we got to write a blurb. So let's write a blurb. We can use this blurb for lots of stuff or revise it later if we want to. Heart for a heart. Xander. Xander. So we're gonna for blurbs we want to introduce the basically the, the setup of the story and the characters that are there. I'm gonna do this. Mog Fear. The Withered Lord. Bids the Uncommon. Assassin. Xander to bring him to kill a usurper
Yeah, we we'll, let me riff on this a couple times. I'm trying to think of another word besides uncommon for assassin. Neither the mission nor himself. For this little short story, that's as much as we need for this, um, because like we're gonna get these details. It's not very long. Normally, I'd write like one more line that would be like basically ask a question. This is probably good enough for now. So we're gonna use this. Always found making a good title and blurb difficult. Yes, it is difficult because you have to condense so much of the story into such a small space. The, the key is you really wanna set up the conflict. What's the conflict? Xander has to kill a boy. He doesn't wanna do that. He has to figure out how to save the woman he loves, right? That's the main conflict. And you wanna introduce the characters. Xander Mogthir Ruland, an innocent boy. So this is probably good enough for this. I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3 in the background. My character's name is Zandera. Just stopping by to say hello. Well, hello to you too. Yeah, it's very difficult to do a good blurb, but if you follow that advice, you'll probably be able to do a good one. Introduce the conflict first. I like to have a little tag, a heart for a heart. So this is what I'm gonna use for this. Um, a heart for a heart, dot, dot, dot. And then we have this. That fills up every character. Dude, we nailed it on the first try. One character remaining. Okay. Now we need a story image. This is actually not that hard. Um, I have one that I've been using. Um, maybe it has to be JPEG. Ooh. All files. Can I use this one? All right. So it's got to be two megabytes. Let me see if we can, we can also make one with just an AI or we can get like a, a stock photo. So, um, 
Let me see if I can find it real quick. In my computer here. It's an AI elements. All right, let me show you the, the picture here. So this is what it looks like. I made it with an AI, I think, a while back. So we can just use that one. It works really good. It's going to be a circle. So this will actually work fine, I think, for what we want. Um, but it is, what is it? I'm gonna open it with Photoshop, okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna export it as a JPEG. And we're gonna make it, um, yeah. No, 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 I didn't want that. And we're gonna make the quality of like medium. All right, save that. Now let's go back here, Layla. And there it is. All right, so this is a really good image. This will work for this. Um, primary category is going to be, so notice there's, there we go, fantasy. Secondary categories, maybe horror. Or we could do teen and young adult. <laughs> That's an easy one to pick. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender fiction. <laughs> I think I'm going to do horror. I'm going to do dark fantasy. Grim dark fantasy. All right. Uh, seven tags. So we'll do dark fantasy. We'll do grim dark fantasy. Or we can just do grimdark. Attack. We'll do um, magic. We'll do um, fantasy horror. We can do assassins. <laughs> And one, two, three, four, five. We might as well do all seven. So let's think of seven more. Um, Lich. <laughs> we can add young adult in here. I don't know what else we could put in there for tags. We could probably just leave five, but you, you really want to fill up all your tags if possible. You know. Let's see what all the fantasy tags are. Portal fantasy, fantasy adventure, fantasy romance, contemporary fantasy, young adult fantasy, epic fantasy, dark fantasy. We already did dark fantasy. Let's do fantasy adventure and we'll do conspiracy all right that's good um publish and start episode one okay this should be pretty easy to do okay since i already have it organized into episodes Oh, that's not it. All right. Episode one, optional title. I'm going to call it The Withered Lord. <laughs> you can import this text, but it never works uh, for some reason. So uh, I tend to just copy paste and then fix it. But if it looks really bad, then we'll we'll do another option that I've done before. Yeah, so this this absolutely did it awful. Um, for some reason, right? 
Yeah, okay. So let me show you a way to do this. It's really dumb, but we're gonna go and we're gonna do a Google document and um, it's just really dumb, but it works. So if you paste it into a Google document and then take it and copy it and then paste it in, then it's formatted correctly. I don't know why you have to do that. I don't know why you can't just copy text, but if you import it as a Word document, it'll like the formatting's always messed up. But if you copy and paste it out of a Google document, for some reason it works. <sighs> Author notes. You don't have to do these, but Now we're not going to do a poll. You can do a poll. We'll do one at the end. Um, when you want to ask readers what should happen next, we're going to skip all this. Now you can do this. You can have readers do like a choose your own adventure. All of this is kind of new. Um, so, you know, you could say like, hey, what do you want to happen next? Should he shoot somebody in the face? Should he punch someone in the butt? Right? Whatever you want. Oh, no. Sorry. All right. Did, did, did. No AI generated content. <laughs> Sorry. That's what it looks like. All right, we're going to release now. And then we can schedule releases for everything else. Yes. All right. So we're also going to create a new episode. I'm going to title that The Withered Lord. Boatman. All right. And we'll do the same thing we did before. here delete that paste it copy it again very annoying but it's what it is what it is all right okay we're not gonna have any other notes unless we want to put the same note in every single one Uh, and we're going to schedule release for when? I guess that's the earliest we can do, April 3rd. So we'll just do, because it takes like three days for them to approve it. So we'll just schedule one every day for a while. So April 3rd, publish. Yeah. All right, create new episode. So episode three. Oh yeah, we left strandum, not the scroll. Perfect. Okay. Strandum. Random. All right, now do the same thing we did before. Delete, paste. And copy and paste. There we go. Don't know why that works, but it does. No AI content. We're going to release it on the 4th. 
we will publish it. My town. Oops. Oh yeah, these are numbered incorrectly. One, two, this would be um, three, four, high town. High town. I'll show you what I'm doing, right? I'm copying it. Actually, I could, I could just do this, select heading and content. Control C and then uh, delete, control V. Control C. Control V. And then we will we're skipping the polls because this is done. We will schedule it on the fifth. Okay, and then number five. So I'm just doing the whole thing. <laughs> Call it the strike. So that's good. Skipping all this. I'm going to do it on the 8th. All right, number six. What are we going to call number six? I don't know. The deal. The art of the deal. Same idea here. Hold on, how long is this? All right, yeah, I need to split this one up into two. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna take a minute and split this up. I want this to be a thousand words. Strike is a lot. Yeah, I wanna split this up into two. So I'm going to do this much. I'm going to do seven and uh, we'll make it heading one. So seven. All right. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure what to call it. So six is not the deal. We're not going to call it the deal. We're going to call it something else. Failure. Keep it simple. Failure. Oh, 
because we're failing. All right. Okay, no AI. This is not AI. I'm going to release it on the 9th. Okay. Number seven here. Seven is like, what do we do with him? The deal. It might be kind of boring to watch me do all this, but you get the idea of what, what you have to do here. This one's called the deal. And deal how long have we been streaming oh an hour and a half yeah we'll do the uh we'll do the paperback formatting another time i think i'm going to finish this all right no no ai stuff publish it on the 10th as you can see, it'll it'll automatically choose like the next day after you scheduled. It's pretty convenient in that sense. All right, now we're on to. Oh no no no. Oops nope I um shoot, I think I messed this up. Seven is the deal. What did I call this one? Oh no, that's right. That's right. No, I did mess it up. I I put it in the wrong chapter. This one is not called the deal. This is eight, which is something else. <laughs> I don't know what to call number eight. All right, number eight. I don't know what to call it. Departure. All right, that works. Because it's kind of departure of life, too. He's texting me. My wife. No, eBay's telling me about something. Missed out on a Parker Fly auction that sold for $1,500. I don't think I had $1,500 extra dollars. I need to save my money because I'm probably going to have to buy a new hearing aid. For a lot of money but boy that's a deal for Parker fly let me tell you that's right rain was coming all right I'll call this departure okay no AI go this is all gonna be set up when we're done here what's oh, autocorrecting nine Called the Dead City. The Dead City. All right. You know, I can't see. I, I really hate um, Google Documents because you can't see your cursor. It's like white. It's always white. It's really awful. I don't know why they do that. Terrible decision on their part. All right. Solborg, the dead city. Do the next day, April 12th. Publish. All right. Whatever. 
I'm not sure what to call number 10 here. I think you get the first 10 of this. Um, God gave you two ears for a reason. Well, the other one doesn't work very good either. So, sorry. I, it's kind of like a need. It's nice to be able to understand when people are talking and I have to tell my children, I can't understand what you're saying. It sounds like you're speaking Chinese. <laughs> Thank you for the tips. Yeah, you're welcome. You know, it's hard, is my, my point. So this is like hearing aid number two that's died. I'm hoping that, I don't think the company is gonna like gift me another one. So that's just probably gonna be how it's gonna be. I'm not sure what to call chapter 10. Castles of darkness. Hmm. I'm gonna call it the lost ones. How long is this chapter? It's very long. 2300 I'm gonna cut this one in half too so I'm gonna cut number oh wait no 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 10 oh, let's select heading content yeah that's perfect all right okay I'm gonna call it let's see here Call it lost ones. I'm not sure why this spacing is so weird, but uh, whatever. There we go. Lost ones. Okay. Lost ones. All right, we'll do April 15th. This is where they're going through the castle. I don't know what to call it the next episode. Number 11 here. Remains. It doesn't really matter. I can change all this when I turn it into a book for people to actually read. Because like I said, nobody reads this stuff on Vela. But Amazon might give me a little bit of money for it. So. Where is that cursor? There it is. Sixteenth. There we go. All right, this is number twelve here. Ball number. We got number. Ochre light. Call this one ochre light. Show you how I do this. Check the word count. Good. Back up here, find my cursor. There it is. And 
here. No AI. And publish it. Alright, then we need to open it back up. This one up. It's a little long, but Oops. all right, here we go. This is a uh, dead heart. There we go. Four eighteen. Publish. All right. Then we're going back here to number 13. It's called Goddess. So I was going to call it Mustera, but you get the idea. There we go. This is a, a short one. And great episode. That's right, I have to do this. Control Z, Control V. This one's really short, so. This concludes. reading it. So Jander have more adventures. Choice one. Closing date. I'm going to close the date June 1st. <laughs> no AI generated content April 19th. All right. That's it. It'll be published on this sometime after April. You know, I'll, I'll put it, I'll publish it as a regular paperback. Okay. So here we go. Here's all 14 episodes. And here's our. Um, you know, here's our document. So, would you get a Neuralink hearing aid? Probably not. Because that, you know, or like a cochlear implant that, that directly stimulates your nerves. Uh, that makes you lose the hearing that you have, right? So, probably not. And I would probably never get a Neuralink implant anyway. Uh, so, I probably wouldn't. All right, so this is it. Um, yeah, we're about out of time. I'll show you how to format this and set up all the paperback and ebook stuff in the next stream, okay? So that'll be fun, and I will just go and do that step by step. So I appreciate everybody coming and hanging out and watching uh, me set that up. Of course, you could find it on Kindle Vela if you want to watch it, or it'll be, um, I'll have it in its entirety on Substack and Patreon and Ko-Fi if you want to get it through one of those platforms. Those, uh, Ko-Fi and Patreon, it may be a little bit later because according to like the agreement for Kindle Vela, it has to be like exclusive on the Vela content, but I've already put these out, like the, the drafts on 
Substack and stuff. So um, those are paid content. It's not like their bots are going to be able to read it anyway. So it should be okay. And if I get booted out of Vela for letting you guys read it ahead of time or letting you read it live on the stream, then that is a consequence that I'm willing to deal with. Um, and I'm not planning on leaving it on Kindle Vela for very long because I just don't expect anyone to read it on Kindle Vela. So I will have it there for a little while. And if they give me money for that, great. And if not, then I will turn it into a regular book. But I'll show you how to turn it into a regular little mini paperback next time. We just won't publish it until later this year. So this was done entirely live. That's a lot of fun for me. So I appreciate everybody coming and hanging out with me today and for all of these streams. Now we get to decide what to do for the next, um, the next live write stuff. I'm thinking live in the pod and eat bugs part two might be a good choice but i'd be <coughs> sorry looking forward to what anyone else has to say about that i figured that'd be a fun short one we could do and we could put them together and like do the whole thing again and see where we go with it okay um that's pretty much it for this time i hope you guys have a great great day and i will see you all later uh the regular wednesday stream and i'll probably keep doing these on saturday or sunday just because it producing more stuff that people can read and, and have fun with that's always good longer books will be coming later this year too including uh king leper which i'm working on and getting that prepped so you know, that'll be a while i want to have i want to commission a good cover which is going to cost me a lot of money and i've got to figure out how to make that money back there's a whole thing that goes happy here happy easter to everybody and uh happy end to your lent live long and prosper and i will see you all next time